Hi, I'm Teresa Gascoigne from my kitchen in Seattle, Washington, USA. I'm going to teach you how to make more corn. This is the beef we be, we're going to use for our more corn. This is top round. This is the beef top round and it's been marinated overnight. Cut into thin strip. I pounded it before marinating. These are the ingredients for our filling for our more corn. We have one quarter cup of chorizo, one quarter cup of grated Edam cheese, one quarter cup of ham, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, one cup ground pork, there's a quarter cup raisins, quarter cup uh, sweet pickles, there's 12 olives, two hard boiled eggs, one slightly beaten egg. We're going to mix all of this together. I'm mixing now. everything together in a bowl. Using a foil wrapper, I arrange the beef flat on the serve on the kitchen counter. I spread the filling on top and I'm gonna roll this like a jelly roll using string. Here's the meat. I roll them all completely and it's now ready to be tied. Now we're gonna prepare the broth where we're gonna cook our morcon. We need 14 ounces of chicken broth, 1 cup tomato sauce, 1 big onion cut into, four, cut into quarters, we need 3 cloves garlic, 1 bay leaf, we need 1 teaspoon, 1 teaspoon pepper, that's 1 quarter teaspoon pepper and one quarter teaspoon salt. We're gonna boil this and cook our... I added half a cup of water and a quarter cup of vinegar. Here's now our macon simmering in a pan of broth. I'm gonna simmer this for 20 minutes initially. I'm going to put the lid and simmer this for 20 minutes. The best way to test the meat it's done is by using a meat thermometer like this. It should register 160. I'm gonna test it now. When it's 160, then it's done. 160 to 180 will be the best temperature. Now, now I'm heating this butter. I'm dissolving the butter in the pan. I'm gonna brown the meat in butter both sides. Now I'm making the gravy. I took the broth, half of the broth from the pan that I use for boiling the more corn and I'm gonna put uh, two tablespoons of flour. This is our gravy. This is uh, two tablespoons of flour dissolved in a little amount of water. And this is our gravy. I'm gonna mix this with Here's the now our macon ready to eat. Delicious.